Equatorial Guinea. Equatorial Guinea press, ranks 165 out of 180 on the Press Freedom Index. Total control of the media. Tight control of the media and prior censorship are the norm under President Teodoro Obiang Niguma, who has held sway in Equatorial Guinea for the past 40 years and was re-elected for a fifth seven-year term in April 2016. Under his authoritarian rule, it is impossible to criticize the president and the security forces. The news coverage provided by the few media outlets is closely controlled, and none of them is really independent. Coverage of the Arab Spring, the fighting in Mali and Syria, and the fall of Bukhara Faso's president, uh, Balis Kampare, was completely banned. Journalists can be fired and detained, their programs can be suspended, and their equipment can be confiscated. Self-censorship often replaces reporting. The few journalists who try to do independent reporting are regarded as subversives and the regime's enemies. Visits to Equatorial Guinea by foreign reporters are heavily restricted. Two journalists spent several days in prison in 2019 just for publishing an interview and have yet to recover their former position since their release. The TV channel they worked for is owned by Theodorin Obiang, the president's son, and the current vice president. Ramoan Estano Abale, a well-known cartoonist who sometimes dared to satirize the president, spent nearly six months in prison after being arrested on trumped-up charges in September of 2017. Were they trumped up? At the end of the day, he criticized an authoritarian fascist. What do you expect?